Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. I was really spending time today thinking, you know, after doing the message that I did earlier today and many of the messages as of lately, you know, one thing about me, I pay close attention to cycles and patterns. Every Mercury retrograde, every year around Cancer Leo season, things just get very, very hectic. Because the Cancer season energy, Leo season, it's like the moon and then the sun. We begin to see all these things be, be um, the secrets, they come to the surface. And then Leo season, it's like they are exposed. Virgo season comes in and it's like everyone is trying to, you know, dot their I's, cross their T's and, and come up with the plans of action. By the time we get to Libra season, it's like, you know, it's time to have judgment and justice. Scorpio season comes November. We've got the death, the transformation, the rebirth. Capricorn season comes around. It's everyone is super anal about everything. Aquarius season comes around. You're detached. You're thinking about the future. Pisces comes around. You're, you're dreamy. You're whimsical. And we just do this year after year. But the world is getting so crazy. Um, I was looking at the reading today. And one thing about me, I never listen to my readings. Once I upload them, I channel the message. I give you guys an hour and a reading and I'm done. I don't, I never listen to my readings or anything. But I just was thinking to myself, I was like, how long are the same stories going to come out? And God was like, they're always going to come out. We're always going to be here with this sun and moon energy, this light, dark energy. This this is a, a battle that will always be here. Satan will always have his job. Those who are followers of the Most High God, we all have to stand firmly in our positions. And everyone is picking and choosing a side Unfortunately, here on earth, a lot of people are choosing the side of Satan. And I was looking, um, and this is just, you know, information because I try to find information and resources about various subject matters. There are times when I notice the readings get very dark. Okay. You see the criminal stuff, you see the karmic situations and, um, the illegal act, you just see it all come out. And I'm like, what is bringing this out? You know, we did just have a new moon in Leo. Um, I'm like, but what brings this up? And you can look online and see the satanic calendar. So I'm looking at it. I look at it and I'm like, there are actual rituals that happen all throughout the year that those people who follow Satanism or, or whatever that they follow. You know what I'm saying? This is your secret societies, the different covens, the the cults and everything else. And, you know, I'll be completely honest as a reader, you know, a lot of people will consider tarot witchcraft or demonic, some people will say. And it's becoming very draining to try to be... um a light worker using tarot because we are we're outnumbered by so much darkness and it, it's a hard fight but i was looking at the the calendar and i was like oh literally in august there's like fire rituals you know they're these people are are gathering herbs and and i mean like they're actually making sacrifices you know and when you're a channeler, right? Whatever is out in the collective energy, you're picking it up. 
I, I I can go from one minute I'm talking about earth angels, twin flames to the next. It's a, a whole demonic movement. And I'm just like, this flip-flopping between this light and dark going from one realm to the next, it can be very draining because you can, I can't control the messages that come out. But I'm just wondering right now, and, and you guys can tell me what you think even in the comments, um, because we're we're family here for the most part. <laughs> you know, we have some people that creep in that shouldn't be here, but it is what it is. How long is this supposed to, and, and I I'm a firm believer, don't 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 question God. But I was just sitting there today on a long drive and I was asking myself because there are certain energy certain archetypes that come up in these readings over and over and over and i'm thinking to myself it's like is it are these the same people doing the same things like do they ever get tired will they ever stop and what exactly is their goal honestly how long does a person spiritually and psychically attack a person especially a stranger I, I I'm, I'm really curious I look at this I'm like what do you actually want because I know for a sure fact that like myself and maybe many of you many of us are introverted hermits I just think I'm like for me not to go anywhere really talk to anybody stay to myself how is it that I'm able to pick up on all of these dark, dark energies? Where is the projection coming from? I ask myself, I'm like, have I really ran into that many dark people? I mean, can it, can it honestly, do you guys really think that it's one person from your past that is spiritually attacking you? Are there groups of people attacking you? what the f what is this <laughs> i mean like i can see it but i'm i'm asking i said the other day in the reading like the origin of where it comes from we have past life karmic debts and, and situations looking at the tv right now, literally says um ancient aliens on netflix but maybe that's what it is i don't know are, are we the ancient aliens are they the ancient aliens like what is really going on because i, I think about how spiritualists tarot readers people who are light workers of the light are being attacked non-stop and i i ask i'm like i wonder do like our top a-list celebrities, do they go through this? Are they are they going through spiritual attacks? Or is this only happening in the spiritual community? Like, are they attacking Beyonce, Jay-Z, Rihanna? Like, are they going through spiritual attacks? Do they get to live their daily life unbothered? Like, I'm just trying to figure out how so many people who mind their business is always the business of somebody else. Is it true? Is it the mystery of a lot of light workers that has everyone so focused on them like i'm just trying do you guys know because i'm really wondering like after you crack one code it's another box it's another it's another code to crack another code but it's the same thing over and over again nothing here is new. I've had this channel for a few years. Every year, down to the month, um, it's like the same story repeating itself over and over and over again. You know, it's it's easy to be like, okay, you made it out the matrix. So it's why is it the same story over? It's it's bits and pieces of the same story. I'm 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 honestly at a point right now where I'm I'm confused. When does it end? And and the message that I was truly getting is that it doesn't end. 
it doesn't end until you decide that you really don't want to be in this rabbit hole sunken place with these people. It's like these dark energies, they're going to forever be here. There is a certain way that we obviously have to train our brain and, 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 and wipe our subconscious mind out completely to have a new reality. I, I have to be honest, there are things that are be that are in our subconscious minds that for, that comes from traumatic experiences that we all have had, you know, different experiences, of course. But it's all contributing to this energy, which lets me know that a lot of people are not actually healing. That's one thing, and I've I've had messages on the channel like this before one thing about tarot and i'm i'm to be honest i'm tired of my the storyline and the situational tarot i was hearing earlier as i was driving search and rescue tarot is one of those things where we're you're searching for answers you're searching for clarity you're you want the insight the awareness you're searching 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 but at what point does the rescue team come in? I don't, there is nobody that's really going to come in and rescue anybody. You have to rescue yourself. And one thing about tarot, if you're not careful, the danger of tarot is you will get stuck in searching. And you will find, but you're not rescuing yourself. Every single day, readers, myself included, we get on here and we have these messages and it's, this is, this is what's happening behind the veil, but it's the same thing that was happening behind the veil last week, the week before, last month, last year, the same thing coming out in these messages now because of Mercury retrograde, I promise you it was coming out three, four years ago. How long exactly, because we can't change what the enemy does, but I'm, I'm taking accountability now for myself. How long are we going to keep digging to find out what's behind that veil with these people that keep doing all of this madness? I know everybody doesn't have the spiritual eye to see as much but i'm wondering do you really want to know everything that's behind the bed because one thing about it <laughs> once you see you can't unsee and that's not frightening to everyone but i don't think a lot of people really know what they're getting into when they get into tarot or just spirituality a lot of people stumble upon various tools of divination and they began to use them and it begins to really comfort some type of open wound that you have instead of helping you close it it's a it's like a pandora's box that we just keep going and opening instead of getting what you need out of it closing it throwing it away we just keep opening it and that's a choice Because you see this energy of the abundance, the love, the family, the commitments, the legacy. You, you see that energy, but as quickly as it comes in, it's back out. It's like there's so much darkness and corruption. And I'm like, am I the drama? You know, like, <laughs> are we the drama? Because... How long are you supposed to just sit here and, and expose the truth? Because I don't know what the collective is doing with the truth. All of these readings show that there is a heavy focus on who's doing it, 
Why are they doing it? How long have they been doing it? When did they start doing it? When are they? Really, you're not going to know the answers to those questions. And I was thinking to myself earlier, does it actually matter? Because let me tell you about your enemies and these agents of, of darkness or, or whatever. They're not going anywhere. That's what I've noticed. And I'm not like giving up the fight or anything, but when it comes to justice and judging, you can't help but notice that your enemies, the majority of them, they're still standing. I don't know how, but I'm like, it's their right to be here just as much as we have our right to be here. So at some point, you have to allow yourself to truly just live a set apart life to just unplug from that completely because they're not going anywhere. I see in some of these readings, you know, people are they're going to go to jail. They're going to. But how many of you and you can let me know how many of you have seen this justice? It seems like. It's, it's few, far, and in between that you 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 hear a, a success story until people decide that they're just completely done with everything. You're done looking for answers. You're done, you know, being mad, sad, or whatever. Like, when you truly forget, because these people that we've all crossed paths with, they're connecting to us energetically somehow. It's a shadow aspect that's there. It's something in the subconscious mind. And we're stuck in this rat race of constantly going. It's like so many people are going through situations that are troublesome and hurtful. You can't even get over one situation before another one comes up. There are so many scars on our hearts and so much baggage and drama and trauma in our mind and our subconscious mind that it's like, when do you catch like when do you catch a break? I feel that the problem here, even with tarot, is we keep opening up the box. You already know the wound is there and we just keep, we want to know more about it. How deep is it? How long has the band-aid been on it? When was the last time you changed your band? Like, at some point, you just got to say, the, the the wound is there, it's bloody. You just going to have to let it heal, like, let it go. I don't think that enough of us truly understand. Wow, look at that. <laughs> as soon as I cut the deck, eight of cups, chariot. What it really means to let it go. I mean... At some point to wake up and just say, you know, if those people never go to jail, if they live longer than me or whatever, you know what? God, it's okay. Because I, I will say for myself, I'm, I've, I've reached my capacity. I'm like, I cannot take anymore. And then I'm like, I don't care what happens to the enemy. I just, I don't have the capacity. I, I don't know how many of you guys feel that like, I just, I don't care. And and to me, the, I don't like being in this space or, or, or place because you become so exhausted that you become numb. And that can be a dangerous place to be in because that means that at some point, you are not allowing yourself to even feel the things that are good. And that's what I feel now is happening. I keep seeing these beautiful energies come through. We have one really positive reading. And then the next four readings, it's urgent, urgent message. And it's like, wait a minute, what happened to 
the good energy. I don't think that enough of us are allowing ourselves to fully embrace it because we're so used to this dark energy. And I think that the, the biggest message is, just like your eight of cups, the chariot, you're just going to have to walk away. And that's a lot easier said than done, I know, but I feel like that's the only thing that many of us have not done. I, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but even this channel, I'm almost at a point where I'm just like, walk away. What else can I, <laughs> how many more readings on the same thing can, can be published? People keep watching them, but it's a collective of people who are refusing to actually let go. Some stuff like you just, you're not, you can't control the outcome. And it's time here to take action. The star, two of wands, take action to go towards your wish, fulfillment, your happiness. Too many people's blessings of fulfillment and abundance is being blocked because of the burdens that we're all carrying. This this unhealed trauma or, or and, and other things that we're carrying, it it really is too much. I mean, seriously, it's it's too much. I mean, it's, it's even here in the cards. Eight of Cups. It's walking away from anything that's not emotionally fulfilling. You know, it's it's also going on a journey. It's admitting that you're dissatisfied and unhappy with something. And then going to the chariot. <laughs> this, is the, this is 2023, the number seven, like the chariot. This is the year where we're supposed to be moving into these spaces and places of, of great abundance and this you know higher frequencies and more self-awareness and, and consciousness after putting in so much hard work in the previous years and it feels like there's stagnation here and i remember saying a few days ago this is an energy and, and, and it'll it'll pass something with this Retrograde energy, though, the way that it's taking us back and forcing us to really look at situations, you may feel very stagnant, but the star is here. You have to remain optimistic and carrying like this positive energy of, of being hopeful because I, I can see... The, the situations at hand is causing a lot of pessimism. The opposite of this optimism is pessimism. It's very easy right now to just feel like this energy is so stubborn and stagnant that it's just not going to change. And it will. But the two of wands is here. It'll only change when you decide to make a change. It'll only change when you decide to be the nine of pentacles and just say, F it. I don't care who or, or what is rocking with me, who's riding with me, riding for me, or riding out against me. Like, this burden just has to go. And I think that right now, there's a major breakthrough, especially for our leaders, for the true light workers. You're going to have to step up and present yourself to the world in a different way because to be completely honest and this is even a personal message to myself i just don't think that a lot of us are doing everything that we should be doing or could be doing considering the fact that the collective energy is not shifting there are so many bright and powerful people here i feel that why isn't the energy shifting this energy it stays stuck and stagnant for so long and i'm like how when three of pentacles we are teaming up collaborating and supposed to be bringing justice why are things not balancing out 
Why are people still in poverty? Why are people still out in the cold? Why are people still suffering? Why can't people call on others for help and assistance? Like what is actually going on? The moon and the high priestess. Like, I don't, I don't know. Here's the king and the queen of swords. What this moon high pre like, is this a bunch of, is it gatekeeping? Like, what is it? Do people have knowledge that they're not willing to share because they, I just, I don't know. Like this high priestess and moon card, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but it's, the moon is secret. It, we have high priests. High priests, they're out here. It could be you, your friends. Your, a lot of people are very, very gifted. They're, they're very intuitive. So it's like, are you telling me everybody's intuition is blocked? Nobody knows how to use their discernment? Is everybody codependent? Like, I'm really struggling to, like, understand why so many people are delayed. The devil. <laughs> wow. And the queen of wands. Child, look. These witches, wizards, and warlocks. These people have been given too much power by the ones who actually hold the real power. You have the high priestess, the moon, the devil, and the queen of wands. Mm. This is mindset. It's being trapped, oppressed. It's bondage. King of Pentacles. This is a karmic couple for a lot of people. And this comes out every day. I don't understand how so many people in the collective are dealing with standing on their own being attacked by a couple. King of Pentacles and his Queen of Wands. These people have done so much in the dark to, these, to this high priestess. It seems like everybody resonates with this same story. King of Wands. <laughs> now you have the Queen and the King of Wands out here. And the King of Pentacles. You got a Three of Wands here. For some of you, this King of Wands is somebody that's coming in. That's passionate, I feel, about justice. Like, yeah. Somebody coming in and they're just as passionate about having peace, balance, and, and justice in their life as you are. But you're still being bound by these other people or... You're keeping yourself bound to them, whether knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously. There's some type of serious, like, stronghold or, or karmic tie or, like, bondage that these people have, a lot of people. Th these, serious, I'm telling you, these are these witches, wizards, warlocks who are working for the devil, I just don't understand, though, how they have this much control. Somebody is coming into your life, for sure. For many of you, and, and that's another thing. Y'all, this is like tarot and chat today. I don't know. I've noticed in all the readings, everybody's love life is being attacked. It's not so much just relationship. It's people who operate in darkness. They do not want to see you have love at all. Like you having love is, is a huge threat to these people. These are literally like couples. Demonic, like dark spirited couples who have come together a part of different groups, cults, covens, secret societies, and they have decided to all 
make sure that they hold people back from true divine love. It's like, what the, like, you just gotta ask yourself when they were signing up for these soul contracts, like, what made you put your name down for that? <laughs> Two of Cups. This attack on these twin flames, it's so old now. There's a connection here, y'all. It's wish fulfillment. And I, you know, it's easy to say, don't give up the good fight. You, you shouldn't give up, but I can see how many people right now are just like, Yo, what am I doing? They say something worth having is truly worth fighting for. It seems like people, th this is for sure for people who are like twin flames. You see it, the two of cups and the lovers. This is what's coming in and it brings you wish fulfillment. 100%. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, it's faded to happen. I'm just trying to figure out how long is the collective supposed to stay in the wilderness trying to fight and tame beasts before they can finally go okay it i'm assuming it's coming judgment in the tower it's it's got to be coming fairly soon judgment in the tower yeah there's a breakthrough coming and then you have here the ten of pentacles and the hierophant all right You gotta fight the good fight. I mean, the cards don't lie. No matter what I say, think, feel, or believe, the cards don't lie. It's here. The lovers, the two of cups, the nine of cups, <laughs> the hierophant, it's the spiritual leader. This could be you, your testimony, the ten of pentacles. Something here is meant to be fruitful, abundant. Beautiful. It's good karma. Six of Pentacles. It's a reciprocal relationship. But my goodness, the fight. This spiritual warfare. And I this is something I have to pray about. I'm like, God, we, we're tired. We are tired. And it seems like no matter how tired, you have to just keep suiting up for the next battle. And it's, it's fighting the same enemy. It's like, haven't they gotten the message that they lost? Because they haven't taken these people out. So why do we keep fighting the same battle? What what are we missing, y'all? I mean, what, what part of the lesson are we missing? Divine Feminine, what? The truth is here. Clarity. A breakthrough. Family. Fortune. Marriage. Commitment. Higher realms. Connections to God. It's a faded situation here. You have the Empress out here. Fertility. Abundance. Creativity. My thing, the, again, what is the hold up? Is it a, is the, are you mean to tell me that the whole lesson this whole time was just impatience? Some people have been waiting 20 plus years and going through the same thing, hearing the same reading over. <clears throat> Spirit trying to be funny with me. <laughs> I just said, is it about patience? <laughs> and the temperance card comes out. This is all about patience, self-control and moderation. God really be trying to. Yeah, it is. You have to be patient on this union. Three of Swords, tired, weak, weary, worried, nine of wands, broke down, wounded. And, and they're like, but keep working. Keep working. Eight of Pentacles, just keep going. I know something's taking a while to come in, but just keep going. <laughs> it's coming in. It's and But whatever is coming in is dependable. So all I can say is the message, I guess, is... Whatever is coming in, 
it must be very grand, very massive, because to have fought this hard for it to come in, I, I, I don't know. It, it's like a lot of people are, are very anointed. I, I think about, you know, Noah and, and like Abraham and, and, and Sarah in the Bible. I know everybody doesn't read the Bible, but, you know, being in their 90s, having kids, you know, it's really just listening to God and being patient and having that faith. I'm assuming that the biggest test here, you guys, is about patience, faith, hope. Like, how much do you truly believe in God? And it's interesting because I think about even like the story of Abraham and Sarah in the Bible, how they they waited so long to have a child. God finally gave them a son and then turned around and was like, okay, sacrifice the son. And then when he goes to put Isaac on the burning bush for the sacrifice, of course. God's like, no, don't touch that child. It's all, it's like God has allowed so many of us, I guess, to get out of this season of waiting where what you want is like right there in your hands, but he's still trying to see now, will you remain faithful to him, to the plan? So th this 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 test now is it's a commitment. Uh, it, it's a a test of your 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 commitment, your your truth, your allegiance to God who has provided you with with this type of favor. It's like it's weird because most people will look and think like this is it. Whatever is happening here, like it's not going anywhere. But truly. If you would take time to just sit back, rest, relax, retreat, and just understand the importance of you having faith and knowing that you're being guided, this will work out. But again, this this much easier said than the yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You have the Knight of Pentacles coming in, it's slow. But it's dependable. It brings you a new beginning. It brings you passion. It brings you stability, security. For some of you, fortune. All right? And this pentacle, it lands right in your lap. Actually, for a lot of you, it's already in your lap. Some of you are like sitting on a gold mine. You have... A truth, you have a story, you have a gift, you it's something that you have everything that you have is already within you, of course. But it's strength, the courage to tap into it. The courage to actually just heal. The courage to see that after all of the illusions, the conflict, again, do you still have a good heart? Will you still give to somebody despite the fact that everyone has betrayed you? It's a real test of the heart. This isn't the devil so much testing you. This to me is God. This is a test of God and it's, it's going to be much harder than anything that Satan himself can try and do. That's why this is so hard. The people who work against those of us who are chosen, they're tested too. But let's face it, they always have a shortcut. To truly work, walk with God, you don't have any shortcuts. It's very simple. You're either righteous or you're not. It doesn't mean you're perfect. But you either have a good heart or you don't. And right now, I feel that 
the enemy is trying so hard to push people to a point of just saying, you know what, whatever I want is not going to happen. So fine. If I can't beat them, join them. That's what they're trying to get you to do. They're like, why don't, why don't we make that light work or start doing dark magic? That's what they're, they're trying to make you so, so scared, so upset, so sad that you will just say, forget God, forget this path. I can't beat the enemy. I'll just join in because that seems easier. Five of Cups. These situations are being presented to you so that you will be disappointed and you will block your heart and you will block and reject God. Some of you, you have a God or a spouse coming. You have people who are playing around in your energy. They want you to block your heart and shut yourself down to the point that when this emperor makes their way to you, with this offer, some of you are destined to have a child with an actual divine masculine. Yeah, this person is coming in with an offer. You will be so, so tired and devastated from what other people have done that you will just pretty much shut up, put up, go in and never come out to even meet this, this type of divine being. And you will just live alone having sleepless nights. Instead of allowing yourself to move on a peaceful, calm waters, because somebody wants to come in and save you. And for some of you, there is for sure, there's a child, there's a man here that wants to come in. And it's the same King of Wands here that showed up with his two of cups and his lovers. This person is trying to come in. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this Emperor card, which usually is Aries energy. This person wants to come in and they want to take you away from whatever this is. It's something about... And I don't want to make this reading all about one particular person. It's a collect. It's a message for everyone. But whoever this in the, on the phone. I'm sorry, not the phone, but the TV up there. Now it's showing the series called From Scratch, <laughs> and it keeps showing ancient aliens. Some of you, you have like a past life lover. This person is, and I've had readings about this. We've channeled this message many times. You have some type of galactic being or honestly like a, a real angel that's coming in that wants to co-create and depending on age and your circumstances, they want to co-create co and procreate with you. The enemy is so afraid that these new, like this future generation of these divine beings is going to, they're trying to pretty much wipe the, the divine collective out. That's really what this is. It's like, like people doing population control. They're trying to wipe divine beings out so that they can just overtake this place. But in actuality, who told them that they were supposed to be on top? Like, I don't think that the chosen ones got that memo or that message. That, like they, they don't understand that their season is is over. It's been over. But they're still trying to paint the picture that like they're supposed to be here and supposed to do whatever they're doing. And you should just, you know, roll over and disappear and live in despair. Like, no. Yeah, there's victory and success here. Wow. Look, 666. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Cups. This is a true twin flame. I can't believe that there is such a major, so much conflict, chaos, jealousy on these twin flame unions. These people are doing, they want you bound. Like they want to control what you see, what you touch, what you hear, what you feel. They want to control everything so that you do not go into this connection. And it's all trickery, foolery. It's lies. It's nothing but deception. But you have to know the hangman is in the reverse. You're not actually stuck. 
This is an illusion that you're stuck. You're not stuck. You're very much free. Look, the fool and the eight of wands, you're free to live in your truth, to travel, to go as you please, to communicate. These people, look, on the um TV right at DC's Legends of Tomorrow, you're a legend of tomorrow. They can't stop you. They're just trying to, they want so badly to convince you that you're blocked. You're not blocked from your own destiny. No. And your destiny is to be a being of love and light and to be in love. King of Cups. Who goes with the Queen of Cups? King and Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. It, this is... This is the emotion coming in. But every time the emotion comes in, this this playboy childish energy comes in. Somebody that's juggling. They want to throw you off your path. These are agents of the devil. They watch you. And they sit back and watch to see, oh my goodness, are you getting close to your divine counterpart? Wait a minute, let me go in there and make sure you're disappointed, you're, di you're bored, and you missed an opportunity. No, this is over. You're, like, this is supposed to be over. If you're, yeah, the world and the death, it's over. If you're not going out, socializing, having fun on the TV now, it says, when I fly towards you. This is an angel that's trying to fly towards you to literally... Be with you. Somebody is walking, just like we have these aliens here. There's angelic beings here, galactic beings. These people walk around, they look like humans. I'm telling you, they're not. And that's that's the good people, the good, good energies and the bad. We talk so much about the darkness. Y'all, there's real like angelic and galactic beings around here that mean well. They're here to literally uplift the frequency of, of the entire universe. Like, look, on the TV right now, it says mask girl. What you see isn't always what you get. There are some people out here, you guys, that's, I'm telling you, they're walking around and they have a really big purpose and they have pure intentions. It's not just you. On the TV right, it says the chosen one. I'm so done. The sun. The golden child, the chosen one. You're not the only good person. These people are, are attacking you heart of stone up there. They want you to have a heart of stone because you're the chosen one. Someone, before you, before you even incarnated, you had already made a promise to do something very amazing here. And a lot of you, it, it involves you doing it with somebody else. You guys are responsible for becoming the legends of tomorrow. Like in the like with Abraham, God told me you're going to be a father of many nations. And he's like, how? I don't. Sarah, his wife, couldn't have children. He's like, how? God's like, you're going to be patient, be obedient, be faithful. I don't care how long it has taken you to get to where you're going. God has already said that you're destined to do something. And everything that is happening is truly just a part of it. There's lessons to learn along the way. Again, much easier said than done. No, I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to hear that. But looking at, at the TV screen right now, the longest, this is the longest promise ever. This is God's promise to you. Do you trust it? Something is going to be wiped out of your life at the perfect time. There's not going to be any more loose ends. You don't have to worry about anything. The things that will come in your life to make you insecure and whatever, like, no. The trauma, the drama, it's it's going to be over. It says here, my dad, the bounty hunter. God is, is the, 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 the head bounty hunter. Archangel Michael. These people, I'm telling you, they're going to have their day. 
But there's no point in you waking up, going to bed every day, wondering when is their day going to come. Focus all of your energy and your attention on manifesting. Stop looking for, for dirt on these people because that's what they are doing to you. They're trying to find dirt on you. You don't have to try to find dirt on them. What they've done, God already knows. The devil who they serve knows what they've done. 